all night. I showed them come out of town. If in front of an unlisted number, it comes up all zeros. Because it won't give you the number. But the CO has. The CO has. Yeah. If you're writing to somebody, you're copying that, you know, some kind of warrant, they believe it's very hard. I'm on the CO and probably get the information. Also, when you're uh, when you're under CIS um, and you have to uh, call a place that's not under CIS, how can they tell like, where the call is coming in? How do they get that? Well, we've got your call sites. Let's say it goes from Los Angeles out to uh, Antelope Valley. Okay, and out to exchange out there. So, out of this truck, they use the older signal. Oh, so they, they, they know they have a record or something. Yeah, they have a record of it back in Los Angeles. Okay, uh, but it would lose the translation out here because they can only handle the uh, the DTMF out here with no monthly frequency. Okay. Yeah, I haven't even begun to even. Most long distance trunks are CCRS now. Uh, that's why blue boxes haven't worked so well the past couple of years. Except from remote areas, you know, Fun uh, University, Oshkosh, you know, uh, places like that. All the signaling is handled through the CCIS channel. Well, A and I is usually done to CO billing purposes. Now, if they are connecting CCIS up to the control center, then it will be in that packet. Otherwise, I'm not quite sure uh, what would go from the control center out in the CCIS packet. Yeah, it might be all spaces for all I know. I haven't read the specs on that. I saw this thing from uh, someplace in Alabama that is for your 911 emergency center. And the idea is that it gives you ANI. Yeah. What then you have to do? Once ever have to have a database that goes back from the address so they can just back it. Or you can't be crooked. Yeah, and you have to translate on it. And the other thing too is that the cop at the, at the 911 center will ask you where are you calling from, so just to verify it, to make sure you're a real call. Well, if you were to get a hold of one of these, what would you um, have, what program changes would you have to make, like your class of service or what have you, in your NSS to use that equipment? You mean to receive the, uh, yeah. Because when we called them up, they said that you have to notify your phone company and have them to make certain changes. That's pretty good. But uh, you know, if you want to use it yourself, hard forwards message. Um, first off, there's no way for the CEO to send that information down the line. What they're doing in, like, Harris, uh, is that between ringing signals, they send 300 quad data down the line. In what form? I presume ASCII. DC or? Um, I would assume a modem. I didn't ask for that when I was writing up here. So on 48 volts. Yeah. I'll put their standard 103 carrier. Yep. Oh, okay. And then I guess just a couple quick modem chips from TI at the other end and uh, an LCD display. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really dumb. Uh, other things that uh, that kind of service should allow in the future, I'm not sure if it will now, but places like Macy's Department Store, okay, they place an ad on Sunday. And you know, phone in your order now. Well, they only put on so many operators. And after a while, you get a business like some small screen in there. Well, what this so should allow is for them to get a printout of who got a business signal. Like. And then they can call them back and say, uh, hold on, we understand you tried to call us earlier in the day. Would you place your order now? Do you think Telco would allow that kind of thing? Do you think that? There are a lot of privacy issues. Uh, that's why Telco hasn't really pushed the services yet. But uh, the question in that particular case is whose privacy would be invaded? Because you tried to reach us in the first place, why shouldn't we reach you back first? Besides, that where the phone calls on our neck? Uh, it's a rough area. 
Yeah. 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 Surprising is privacy yeah. because you send places that have a written uh, uh, order, uh, you've got your name and address on it, you expect something back. Right. You're trying to communicate, you're yeah. not hiding. Yeah. Same is true. And you the initiated the, the sequence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't think there'd be too much problem there. Of course they don't but a lot of this, you know, Big Brother 1984 type stuff, and uh, I've got one friend of mine who's really into this privacy issue thing. I had a button made up for him which said, 1984, stop looking in the past. <laughs> but uh, basically, there are a lot of people who are worried about the kind of issues that this sort of stuff can, uh, can bring up. Um, I mean, pen registers. Uh, okay, fine. They have to put it on your line to get what you're got. <laughs> or, I don't know, what, what kind of disk they have. They're, just, they're doing it for a bunch of people. Just throw it into disk files and, and just so match it out later. Crimes we committed two weeks ago, and you look back at their tapes. <coughs> yeah, that's good. Still here. Um, I mean, just from the data crunching point of view. Maybe so much data that I'm a hard time tracking it all. They, first off, uh, there's this <coughs> incestuous relationship between Bell and law enforcement, okay, for decades. Because Bell hires ex FBI people to be their security people. This is well documented. And of course, those people don't have the contacts. Uh, you know, and they're all chummy chummy, and they're all part of the club, and uh, of course it's part of information. But uh, there are, it's getting to be where Bell will tell you, the law enforcement agencies, you must come in with a warrant just to cover our ass. And they're not going to indiscriminately just take data and throw it to disk, thinking somebody might in two weeks want the information. Uh huh. First off, you don't know how much this story that is. I mean, think about it. So much for the CCIS lecture, I guess. <laughs> What's the phone number? Oh, uh, 555. In fact, wrong area code. Wrong area code. The proper area code here is 311. Yeah. And for decades, this was the telephone number on every telephone in every ad the Bell system put out. Also TV shows sometimes. T well, at least 555, not usually 2368. Sometimes. Uh, in fact, I actually have a number card uh, in one of my telephones. Uh, I swiped it out of a trim line at a uh, uh, exhibit that Bell Canada had. It's not it says area code, it says uh, region code underneath as well. And. Uh, you know, English and French. Actually, well, I, I guess if it wasn't a bell, because you know it was the NDA. Yeah. What's the bell? That's just a, 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 a dummy phone number. number. Uh, no, yeah, 555 being the information exchange, yeah. and these digits would just get your information. By the way, 2368 is the number they always use. Yeah. Yeah. If anybody here has seen the movie Morgan, there's a scene where he's scanning exchanges. If you know what's on the TV screen, again, it's 311, 555, or something. I forget if it's 268, but the same thing. Yeah. I don't see any reason why uh, we call Anne Valley. 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 But they have a tariff thing. The thing is that there's so much gear that I can yeah. uh, They're only offering it in the ESS exchange at number one, uh, where they can just pull the information off of where the guy's calling from and just hand it off. They're not offering the service. Oh, the guy's on the crossbar exchange, he goes into the LA toll center, and then it goes to the CIS from there. <laughs> And the other tells us where we call it from. Probably not. Uh, because uh, that's me and I back then about balance is going on mag tape for billing. And in the fifties there's not sending information up. And everything is well. The older shit they have, it's all the Asian crap. They were thinking about these kinds of things. Computers? We need another building the size of the CO for computers. Right? Not no more.
Well, I don't know. What the, these days, no. These days, the kids are getting all the MCI codes and spring codes. Yeah, and then the campuses say they've got to have a computer, so they have the computer hack out the spring codes, man. It gets real dumb. Must be nice. We just do it the hard way. Well, this CCIS now, the this Um, there's a lot of interfacing that would have to be done. Who's going to pay for it? Number one, this is what the logo box one. I don't know. Don't tell them. Uh, Bell No, it didn't. Uh, cable company. It used to be that Bell was very service oriented. And, and they instilled that in their people. And it also was one large happy family. And now it's just a scramble for the almighty buck. Uh, it's getting really ridiculous. History of town. Anybody else have some telephone stuff they want to lecture on or talk about or what have you? Okay. Has anybody gotten the <coughs> commercial when you use the operator? Thank you for using AT&T. Yeah. The, yeah. Now the new one is, is, and we hope you'll choose us as your long distance carrier. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I got that. Cute. Another thing I'm wondering about is, um, I, I was having problems getting director assistance in another state. She's, she asked me, well, who's your carrier for long distance? Is it AT&T or, or who else did you pick? Well, I picked MCI. Who's going to pick AT&T? <laughs> right, and she's like, well, unless you have AT&T directors or AT&T long long distance service, she told me I could not get director assistance in another state. I don't know if that's true. No, I, I still can't dial long distance director assistance out of state. I would suggest a letter to your state public service commission or public utility. I mean, because like, what's it? It's okay for AT&T. No, no, no. explaining that. You know, you've been told this by an operator. And the operator 212, uh, or, yeah. Yeah, I, I have had no uh, trouble reaching, you know, directory assistance out of state using an alternate carrier. Well, I'll tell you what is usually my preferred, you know, yeah, preferred long preferred yeah. directory assistant. Yeah. I'm surprised that, uh, you know, the call comes in, they have no way of screening. Go to a credit card phone and get it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's one trick. Uh, calling card phones uh, do not charge you. They don't want to ask for 50 cents because there's no place to drop it yet. Wow. Out of state information calls go through. Yeah. Sure. It was something. So a little piece of information I picked off the Leopard magazine. Alcatel is advertising for something, a neat little number called the Bit Mile. Okay? I brought you the magazine last night. You can read about it. But Supposedly, uh, they have 2.5 trillion miles of, bit miles. Yeah, bit miles of digital circuitry already installed for this old number. It's coming into ISDN as part, as part of it. But what they're going to try to do is sneak legislation through that in the future will enable them to charge by bits times the number now, of miles. Was that between the lines? Or did they actually say they want to charge by bit miles? Yeah, that's exactly what they're getting at from all, everything I've read about it so far. So they're going to try to sneak that past FCC in the future. And we should, you know, kind of make people aware of what their plans yeah, data compression techniques should get real good by then. Uh, well, the, you know, it's logical on their part with the way data communication yeah. is going. And, uh, you know, yeah. Especially with op fiber optics are standardized. Mm -hmm. So that's a nice little thing. Because you're not going to that way. Well, you know, so when I bought it, I go higher, they're going to charge my bit miles, so fuck, yeah. Yeah, they're covered. Yeah. Well, now they're saying that 2400 baud, they're, they're trying to get the law through, that 2400 baud won't go through the uh, phone lines now. Well, they're well gonna... they've been making such crap out of uh, phone circuits these days that 2400 <laughs> can't go through. Yeah, but they're going to make sure it doesn't. Yeah. Well, no, we're, uh, you know, we're talking all, uh, even MCI and all your major companies are going fiber optics. Uh -huh. Okay. And have been for a while. And as soon as they get their network completed, again, it's a lot that Miles going to come to. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. It gets real weird. 
Talking about problems, things. have you seen the new trim line too? No. <laughs> it's AT&T. It looks like a two-piece yeah, trimline with the face of a piece of plastic that you thread the wire through. It's like, oh, actually, a one-piece foam with a plastic face. It feels like a piece of, feels like a piece of garbage. Yeah. And the ringer is in the handset. Why is that about AT&T quality or lack thereof? My favorite is the... Lawsuits from Bell's 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 Oh, and the was in the wireless box. Oh, yeah, cordless phones. Yeah, but they, no, no, they used the speaker as the sound. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, I mean, the only thing I knew about was still ringing. It was about oh, 100 decibels plus. Yeah. And it was a problem. We're going to have warnings on them now. Some of them have to ring that. So. Yeah. I like the AT&T commercials. I, I think it's AT&T. The, the, the people are in a line with their phones and their problems that they have with the phones. It doesn't ring. He throws in the doesn't ring bin and <laughs> won't answer and throw, can't, can't hear and they throw it in the different bins. I think it's a commercial for AT&T. Uh -huh. Genuine yeah. equipment. The testing room. What kind of testing do they put their phones through? Yeah, and you see the guy talking. He moves over and the phone falls off. Uh, yeah, just the phone fell over and it keeps going on with this conversation. Uh -huh. most, of, most of the stuff I've seen today, though, you drop it, kick it. That's what they're getting across. They're getting across the, they're marketing finally. The fact yeah. that they are a quality service. I mean, I know they're, every... They're, they're admitting <laughs> that they're more expensive, but they're saying that you get what you pay for. Yeah, I mean, every phone I've ever found that fell off the truck is always going to be AT&T equipment. Yeah. It's durable. Mm -hmm. Does well, it survives the fall off the truck. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fell off the truck in my car. <laughs> no one wouldn't. We refer to the Manhattan Pothole Company around here that uh, fell off the truck. Uh, Manhattan Pothole Company is the company that goes out, digs the pothole, the bus truck drives over, bounces, and that stuff falls off the truck. I'm trying to talk to the lid on now. Right. <laughs> Have you guys seen manhole cover locks? Are you familiar? Oh, wow. with, are you, that one. Okay, you're familiar with like. The, the rim locks for your car that keep your wheels on so they don't steal them in New York. Well, they have the same thing. It's a, it's a long bolt that goes in the one side with a funny head on it. You need a special little wrench to go into it and then the big tool to open it. Who wants to break into manholes? <laughs> well, 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 the copper is worth something. <laughs> well, I have heard where they have gone into uh, places in Brooklyn uh, near central offices, just gone down in and just taken about 10 feet of, of, of copper and taken it out and sold it for scrap. The 55 cents a pound is kind yeah. of hard work. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that would be obvious. As far as getting those bolts on, it's thing just a matter of an odd end. You know, you can either file a file of the flask into it, put a wrench on it, or you can file a slot of it and just put metal into it, like as if you could use a ground cable. Oh, for the whole break. It probably would. That's not a lot of the story. That's a lot of the rim lock. Are you making a solid copper? Who doesn't know? It doesn't work. It's not there. Be a kind of a lot. I guess it's tree trimmers. It probably won't be a lot. And Does anyone uh, make quality by uh, uh, longer set of rods to what Western uses? Yeah, get off the mountain. I mean, we have a new AT&T program based on the class that we have. It's a one-piece phone. That's what I was just saying with the F1 too. And even the older ones will look the same. And what about getting replaced with key sets? Like 560s? Oh, um, I think IT team might still make TV make shit equipment. Well, anyway, they're equipped to avoid time at all costs because they're front of their foreign subsidiaries makes like foreign torture and use foreign documents and regimes. That's been going on for many, many years ago. So if you have any choice, any conscience, boycott IT as much as you possibly can. Also, from over to electronics in the same company. Also, I think one of the other things is that camera rolling? Pardon me? Is that camera rolling? Yeah. I can turn the LED off if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was filming somewhere and they told me, turn that camera off. It was at some press conference. So uh -huh. I turned the LED off and just sat back. And right. Smile. <laughs> then they were smart. They cut the camera off. Yeah. 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 Ye
in school I got corrected because they'd spell it that way. <laughs> English, English teacher didn't like it. Okay, definition? You do what English teachers use dog training for under a seat. You love me forever. Smells like dog first. Come up to your That's one way to look at it. Wait a minute, Gannon. Are you necessarily saying that all three of those terms are synonymous? No. Just one person does all three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there really uh, are two sets of definitions on cracking. Because there's, there's this and there's the uh, breaking into systems. I'm going to swing sideways. I don't, I don't think you want to be in the good I just want to get it. Yeah, Zoom, Zoom on that one. That's a prize for us. <laughs> 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 Zoom on that one. Yeah, Zoom on that one. Zoom on that one. Zoom on that one. Zoom on that I'm trying to be discreet about this. Are you a bug freak? You want to learn about the many cloud and computer networks in the world? Then read 2600, the world's largest monthly hacker newsletter. Okay. Which, as I understand, you call this one number 
on a Saturday or Sunday morning, uh, you will get carrier. You know, uh, but the bootleggers like cap and half. They don't have crack and stuff there. Oh, um, before you go out the fridge, you can't move back? Your mom, I know. Let's get it. 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 let us get it 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 let us
before where you could maybe rip off two or three thousand dollars worth of calls off of one uh, card number that you create yourself. Now, you <laughs> yourself, the one number just goes through the roof. And another way people get these numbers is certain radio channels that are still using calling Oh, yeah. yeah. As Marine channels. Yeah, look at the Marine band. You take a weather band radio and just, yeah, do it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, I've been out of out of everything for a couple of years, but I, I do remember a point in time where you could create your own, and then there was a point where you couldn't. What I'm, I know what caused it, obviously, but what are they doing now? How is the format set up? Or? It's pseudo random for the check digit, and they interrogate the database in Kansas City or wherever. Is so this a valid card? So when I call. CCIS, Right. That's all machine readable now. You punch it in with your touchdown pad, and the CO sends it out CCIS. Is this valid? Yes, no. Okay. Back and please the call. So, 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 uh, even there, it's got to go through a toll center. The toll center will send it out CCIS. The number goes up. Okay. Uh, first off, the Vanwell Valley does not get. Uh, the the bon, the Caban. Okay. I like to think of the old uh quick drop called El Caban. It's almost that kind of sound, you know? Um, but if Angelo Valley doesn't get the Caban, they get a TSPS operator. And she punches it in and interrogates the CCIS number. Well then these microwave dishes are gonna be running calling card numbers. Right. They're gonna sit there for one minute, you know, pointing your gun at the tower. Uh, you know, or, yeah, uh, or you just pick them off that way, yeah. But using them is kind of dangerous because they know what they, they can track them back on all these old records. Yeah, all the old red box rules apply. Only from a pay phone and, you know, blah, blah, blah. blah. And the person you're calling, all the person you're calling has known to be dumb. Yeah. Because that's not the number you call. Again, you're talking about just ripping off calls again. Is that what we call frequent? Is that exploration of the network? Very true. Do you have any idea how fast they update their invalid, the invalidity of a card? Uh, no idea, but it, it can be developed either as rapidly as the speed of light or as slow as the bureaucracy. Uh, uh, I, I've got something I can shed some light on it. I have my wallet lifted. Uh, yeah. Early in the morning of September 14th, four years of mass. And later that day, I reported it. And I think I must have been off screen. I'm talking to someone in the city. city. Is that where it's located? Well, at so. any well, anyway, rate, I reported it. We also processed and got a new one. When my phone bill came in, there were uh, phone calls that had been made on the 14th, you know, up through the 17th, so that they had their 14th, 17th, four days of phone calls. Is that a weekend by chance? Yeah, Saturday was the 14th, so it's possibly that that accounted for the lie. It could be that the world until the end of the week is put through a batch. Well, I'm surprised. But again, the slums of the bureaucracy. Again, you're not responsible because you already reported the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I realized that, and I didn't pay for those that were on there, but it was interesting to see that there was that flag. I had thought it would be a lot faster. Yeah. What if companies like U.S. Telenet and other companies are there? What are they there? Is there with nine hundred million? Yeah. Um, I honestly don't know. Well, you got your local code. You're going to do that the hard way. Yeah, you got traffic codes. Well, I use Sprint to become an upcharge for travel codes. 
for it. I wish I had uh, done my homework. I got, I have U.S. Bell. I have as many as would give me uh, an alternate carrier without any startup charge. I went back to get out of the house. Hey, Jeff, I'm going to have a Some of them have different codes that you use for travel, different numbers. Come on. Some bells for others that are they just stayed up here for the last 15 years talking about all kinds of shit. And you guys are missing. Each is different. Oh, I've been handed a copy of Family Computing. A couple of years. February 86 issue. The Hanford Copy Tell. Yes. Has anyone ever seen a copy of Copy Tell? Anyone in this room? Uh, gee, they don't seem to give a telephone number. They yeah, we can't try and call them and ask them. We've got the numbers. We got the number oh, yeah. in the office. The PLA has all three Skyline numbers. Their number. Uh -huh. What is? They're small. Well, that's right. It's uh, uh, they're listed. Get on Skyline information. information. It's copy tell. I this talked to the guy group. yesterday. Uh huh. He defines their organization as a very small group. They just happen to have a nationwide time to remember uh, five countries. What is yeah. Well, it doesn't work now, right? All he wants is my address. Yeah. Here's what I'm doing. We'll have their address. I'm just going to put it together. Uh huh. So, is Van Nuys Boulevard uh, just a mail drop? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Are you legitimate? What you know? No one's yeah. received anything yeah. over a yeah. year or two. Because they are really. Because, because that address, I mean, because Van Nuys are all of good mail scams oh, used to come yeah. from. It makes you very suspicious. Yeah. There's a lack of yeah. 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 They don't say the name of that company. Yeah, generally, yeah. 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 it, it recommends that if anybody is going to, people who have not sent in for this, don't. It may well be a way to list these are free. Or send it to people you don't like. Oh, yeah. Um, there was an article yesterday in the San Francisco Examiner uh, that someone brought in. Uh, it seems that a police department uh, in San Diego had set up a bulletin board. And they set it up as a, quote, free bulletin board, close quote. And they got the kids to swap all their credit card numbers and uh, travel code numbers and what have you, and uh, collect enough evidence to bust everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is uh, what CNA reports are. CNA reports are. Yeah, right. San Diego Police Department. Why don't CNA not the work in the area you're checking? Is there any other one? Yeah, yeah, call the city. Yeah, dial a couple of numbers above and below the board yeah. number and see who the answer is. Makes sense, because we're going to multiply the system. Yeah, call the city. 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 True. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. If they're that smart, could also be that smart. Really yeah. Who would kill the police department if you don't want it? Like that. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh. You know, they just might think it's not worth the bother. They were smart. It depends. I've heard of one in Texas. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, it depends on their area. Yeah. They, they have yeah. to be able to, especially now, you know, all this stuff uh, is, is getting so high and heavy out there in the universe that uh, <laughs> they've got to be able to accept the search warrants when the FBI comes in and have ways of tracing back. So that if uh, that one is the stone. Hmm? I'm sure it's caused. This is why I provide the search warrant and say, sorry, we have not set up to do that. Well, first off, Telenet themselves would set up to do that with, you know, with their own security. Um, the network is, is set up such that if they know what, they would know what node you're coming in on and what line of that node and what node you're calling. Okay? After that, you hand it off to Telco and you're Because FBI is not going to do with a warrant. They don't care about the abuse by and besides, uh, <laughs> the Telcos are always welcome. Again, it's the kind of service they provided when they were a service-oriented company. They'll probably charge the police department. Why would I buy with them? Why would they charge your success? Yeah. Oh, that's a whole other billion. That's, that's tariffs. In fact, he's going to file a tariff on uh, the first day. You have to go on for it. Oh, so, yeah, Computil is advertising. And advertising is bad like computing. They're looking for kids. And engineering management. Obviously. Well, who gets family computing? Who knows? Yeah. Buy and gay, buy and junior. That's too embarrassing. You're you know, acting for different reasons, but those are probably the I mean, that's not even buy. Of course, like I don't know. Look, translation. Most likely, it's not a scam. Oh no! If enough people put their names in, they won't be able to really keep track of the ball anyway. So again, you might want to go to the phone book and take a look. Ten names out of the phone book, mail the subscriptions. Mail it. What? Twenty bucks a shot? No, request for billing. You know, we're saying, please send me a bill. And I have all these names still out of the phone book. No guilty fact that we really swamped it all that. Uh -huh. You can send them that one. You might want to consider it. You want to protect the people who sent theirs. You don't care? Well, that's your <laughs> Oh, I want a definition. Yeah. The guy behind the camera. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, any you can be a word. The kids who crash security and then destroy data. That's one way to look at it. Give me the word. but the guys who are destroying them, I mean, okay, cracking system security is one thing, okay? But when they, when they can't find Star Trek, you say, you know, four man drive. Right. And maybe they'd be too close to make the paper around the paper and shit like that, you know? How about you turn off the phone? Yeah, you can turn off the phone. Well, that's hard to do. Oh, one shut down. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
didn't open any windows, letting fresh air in. In the uh, living room, however, the uh, heat of the flames near the window was enough to, uh, to break the window and bring some fresh air in there. So the living room kept going for a while. The neighbors <laughs> called the fire department. Uh, insurance company took care of most of the losses. But the gist of the phone call was, come get this shit out of my house before the insurance inspector comes on Friday or it goes into the dumpster. Huh? What? Uh, what we went through renting trucks, getting the shit back up to my apartment, which, okay, it may not have been a brilliant idea, but uh, <laughs> we were short on time. Spur of the Aren't moment. We only had till Friday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, about two months later, I got evicted from my apartment. I mean, I've been having uh, landlord hassles for a year and a half. I've been out of work for a year. And uh, I could not afford the room for all this shit. What I intend to do is get those sets together, lay them out, send them to a publisher, and they will be published as a book. As in their entirety with no omissions? In their entirety, no, uh, <laughs> Plenty of admissions with no omissions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This material has all been in tap at one time it, or another. It, it, it has it all a tap. tap. It's stuff that hasn't appeared in tap. No, no the, the actual all, tap the is actual is tap newsletter. Just for each one of us. Do you want to start a couple of those envelopes? You don't want to those envelopes open. Back here is the freebie table. It's not in the envelope in this game. In the envelopes back there is the what last issue of want? TAP. Now, that's number 91. There were two versions of 91, I have to tell you. I laid one out and lost it. <laughs> Great. What can I say? Tuck put together an issue 91, and that's the one that's sitting there that I never got mailed out. Again, I fucked up. Even in the end, no, 92. No 92. Well, I've been thinking about putting together a 92, a last issue, laying out my reasons as to why TAP died. You know, I'm out of work. I haven't got, I'm completely scraping for my own living. And because I've been so close to the newsletter for so many years, I've got to keep my act clean. I just assume they're watching. You know, whichever day you want to talk about. Uh, there's many, yeah. <laughs> You know, the jurisdictions crosshatch, you know, the proverbial. Um, <laughs> Inter and intra. Yeah. Um, we were discussing earlier how would we set up a TAP bulletin board if we wanted to. My feeling is the TAP had possibly outlived its, its true usefulness to those it was meant for. Uh, the kids can get their information fresher and faster off the bulletin boards than by getting it uh, through a publication like TAP. Um, so what's TAP good for? It's good for the corporations. Don't know anywhere else to get this kind of information <laughs> on how people are breaking into their systems and what have you. That's going to be at the corporate grade. Uh, yeah. Why should I hump ass to put out a newsletter for somebody who isn't supposed to be reading it? Well, very true. But that's why you have a corporate grade for those people. I know it's why, but... Uh, yeah, I'm a lazy son of a bitch. Yeah, an extra high price rate for corporate, you say. Yeah. And, um, like 35 versus 20. A corporate's like 35 or something. You know, something like that. In, in the meantime, mean, they paid it too. So um, I, I would just rather be out of the phone free newsletter business. Um, I think TAP has possibly outlived its usefulness, at least to its true community. Uh, that's my feeling on the subject. I think it has. Uh, really people on. want the back issues. People, a lot of people, like you're hearing voiced here, still think that TAP ought to exist just because uh, there needs to be encouragement for it, quote, that kind of thing. Exchange of information is worth a lot, and this is the way to do it. That's but does it necessarily have to be called TAP gang? Well, it doesn't need to be changed. But the, but the, the other question mark, if you can let me speak for a few minutes, I'm sorry. is <laughs> what is being encouraged here? True. Okay? Is it just straight law breaking and you know good rodentry and uh, and all that, or are we spreading information, the forbidden knowledge that TAP 
always wanted to spread the knowledge that the corporations didn't want you to have, like how the phone network worked. Bell never explained to anybody outside the industry how the telephones worked. They never wanted you to know. They didn't want you poking your nose into their business. They had their monopoly. That was all there was to it, period. And so they made a great target sticking their ass out like that. Um, and it, it fed a lot of uh, creative curiosity to find out how it worked, which is what brought out the original blue boxers who figured out that if they could hear those tones and some machine listened to those tones, then they could make those tones too. Um, the kind of uh, intellectual challenge that phone network represented is now available in every home with the computers that are out there today. So the, crea the creative challenges are still out there. Um, I really hate to be the one sitting here in the publishing capital of the universe <laughs> where the First Amendment is gospel. Uh, publishing the information is going to get some twerp 12-year-old in a lot of hot water with, with the cops, let alone his folks. Um, because he thinks he's going to be cool by using this information. Yeah, we put the disclaimer for informational purposes only, and everyone went, <laughs> Yeah, right. Okay, but still, anybody who knew what they were doing, uh, they uh, knew what they were getting into usually, but the twerks, the kids who were out to make a name for themselves, <laughs> what did they know? They, did, they wanted to make the name. And I don't know if I want to push that anymore. Um, you don't have to write if you don't want to write. So uh, let me think. Yeah, uh, one thing you didn't mention is uh, the existence, whether or not it's so, of other publications that are doing much the same thing. I, I have in mind 2600. I don't know what it does, or the occasional glances at it seems to indicate that yeah, it's correct. covering much of the same informational yep. yes. content. Yep. So, so how much the news is there are for still two there. or more? Mm -hmm. The news sources are still there. Uh, the bulletin boards are there if anyone wants to Oh, this is what's well, really a, a new ball game all the time. I have a suggestion. Maybe some of us who want to write articles, I think there are five people who do, or to see if 2600 would publish them, maybe under a tap byline or something, or some other name byline that would fit in. Whatever bond you want to use, fine. Yeah. Two questions. During the interim period there where when it wasn't certain whether type was going to continue, you had the, the lost play out that didn't come out roughly a year and a half, year and four months, something. Yep. I've always wanted to know what was done with all of the money collected for that year and a half, and why wasn't it refunded to the customers, if not the individual? I have a stack of envelopes about yay high, okay? Now, I personally anytime I open envelopes, um, some of it went to pay a lot of my bills. I'll, I'll admit that, fresh off. A lot of it's still sitting in those envelopes. And, um, in fact, one of the things I want to know is, uh, would 2600 or somebody else who really has a newsletter going uh, want to send the mailing out to those people? Because I don't know quite what to do with the envelopes right now. What do you um, mean a mailing? Hmm? What do you mean a mailing? Uh, they've been asking about TAP. Uh, would, would you guys want to see if they want to subscribe to you instead? Um, well, we get letters from TAP. For tap. We mm. get letters all the Are time. Are you tap? People complaining <laughs> mm. that we're tap and we took their money and stuff. Or they ask us for bank issues, or, yeah. or uh, you know, they yeah. assume that Are you we were tap. Mm -hmm. It's a very good job, man. We're not. Well written, too. <laughs> yeah, another <laughs> thing with, with your good lookingness. Uh, I first saw you, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, Mr. 2600, and I went, oh shit. I saw a typesetting, and I saw a slick operation, and I was worried shitless for you guys, fearing that someone, quote, in authority, close quote, might take official notice of you real fast. On the other hand, the Krakow brothers weren't advertising, so... Uh... Yeah. 
Well, so I would expect screw to come down on them real fast. Well, maybe not. It, it, that. it hasn't no, really worked good. out that way. We thought we'd get the same crap too, but um, the thing is, we stick to our guns. You know, we don't back down. We're not. We, we're careful about what we print. We don't print passwords. We don't print access codes. We print information, and everyone wants information. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. huh? I mean, the corporation, you would believe the number of corporations that, that send us the corporate rate, and that's what keeps us going. Because mm -hmm. um, we really lose money, $12 a year. It doesn't yeah. pay to keep something that big going. Mm -hmm. um, we don't look on it as giving away secrets, mm -hmm. because they always change to something else, and they figure out what that is, too. Yeah. It was more kind of warfare game. Yeah, it's that a little countermeasure, the counter, countermeasure, counter, counter, counter. Right. Yeah. <laughs> But it keeps the challenge going. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to answer some of the other questions, though, um, we're always willing to have pieces from people on anything. And we don't get enough of that. Mm -hmm. uh, That's the lifeblood. Yeah. Without, without articles, you dry up. We have a lot of good writers we've never met. Uh huh. And we like oh, to have a lot. The like bulletin board you run on weekends now. Uh, the bulletin board's only up on weekends. Yeah. Well, you can upload? You can upload. Okay. What, what type of stuff are you interested in? What's that? What yeah, type of stuff are you interested in? Just asking. The kind of stuff you guys are interested in. Like yeah. we, we draw the line. We don't talk about lock picking and <laughs> drugs and weapons. <laughs> We're into phones and computers. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. <laughs> all those things were covered in tap at one point. All those things you yeah. mentioned. And we think yeah. there's there's plenty of market for another magazine too. Mm -hmm. We'd love to see more. <laughs> Is that confirmed? Not yet, but we're, we're getting to the that. rumor is hot. Yeah. The rumor is hot. Yeah. Well, well look, they've been around for over two years, and they haven't sent anything to anybody, and they're still advertising. Mm. Who? Computel? Yeah, we can't do that. Yeah, the postal we service. That. The postal service would shut them well, down. It looks better than the live that Computel is in the middle of the state. Yeah, the one part of California where all the scams come from. We should know Don't give their names when you call their phone number. Yeah, very suspicious. But you see, in addition, in addition to putting out a newsletter, we also can represent the hacker view. We do that with the private sector case, and as far as Comcast covers in this off, we intend to pursue that and make a lot of noise. Uh, if anyone's been ripped off by them for like cancer checks, anything they send them, we want to hear about it, and we're going to make it big so that people know exactly. It's a matter of print. I mean, and the fact that those that are somebody from their publisher family computed. Yeah, family computed. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're trying to reach little children. They're jokes. trying to reach the little kids. Yeah, it's obvious. You know, the young, mm -hmm. you know, the young uh, computer journalists. Yeah, we don't know what exactly they're after. I talked to the guy yesterday. I tracked him down in his house. Yeah. And, and uh, it's obvious what they're after. They're we're we're going to have his address. Very they quickly. want names. <coughs> they want to have a list of names and phone numbers of people that maybe they could surveil or have a list of, 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 of suspects for a next big case and whatever. Okay, but if enough be. people write in, it may be hard. Actually, I think what some of us should do, I'm going to probably do when I have time, is grab the nearest phone number. Take, take 10 or 15 numbers, send them in, tell them that they want a description, <laughs> and, and send a bill. <laughs> and a person will get the bill and probably throw it away. A person won't get anything. <laughs> Except a little file somewhere. That's right. That's the idea. The person will have, but that's the point. They'll have all these extra names oh, wandering up their list. Yeah. And when they try to surveil, what's all these names? They will know one from the other, and it will break, dilute it to the point of almost useless, well, I think. Personally, we don't think they'll be around much longer than one. Yeah, but if they, well, they're listen, compiling they a list. We want to find out what they are doing. We, we call family computing. They said, oh, that. We, we didn't even tell them. Computing. They said, oh, that. Like, 10 people had called up the day before. Mm -hmm. So. Do we have somebody in a fiscal area go trash uh, trashing them for every day? Does anyone work? live near Van Nuys? Well, Van Nuys is near LA. Yeah, it's right yeah. At Van Nuys, there were all the postal scams that came from for years. Yeah. Yeah. Most of them all. I don't know a lot of people in LA. I'm in San Diego. I might be. Hey, you see a scam. This is Van Nuys. You know, it's a good extra. Yeah, sure. A while ago, you answered my first question, but you didn't answer the second one. Why the money wasn't refunded. I'm personally not over $10. Let me finish. Huh? Not over the $10, but over the principal of Send me ten dollars so I can pay my bills and you get shit. I don't care for that attitude. I didn't come here yeah. to attack you, but I'm attacking the principle behind it, and I feel just I, in principle ripped off. Yeah, um, I've got all the envelopes, all the addresses. 
Um, I'd like to find some place to, to send them so that uh, they get something, 2600 or something else. Um, Oh, we can well, credit I got the original. We can credit people ten dollars or twenty six hundred, but they have to want it. We're not going to uh -huh. send them something they don't want. Um, I think what would you people, prefer that they do? I think most people have got, got, got whatever, whatever it is. Uh, <clears throat> even they're not quite the same. Yeah, but we'd like them to say well, it. Well, I mean, I could care less people, about the corporate. You know, yeah. might not <laughs> but I think the individual should get refunds. Well, what, you asked the question: What would you prefer be done? Would you rather have the subscription, or would you rather have the money back? Personally, I'd rather have the, what uh, twenty six hundred. Yeah, would you rather have credit? I'd rather have it if twenty six hundred is willing to do that. They are. Uh, I'm game. Good. That you know, that's what I wanted to be. Well, we couldn't take Did you see the issues we had that, that he passed around? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. No, 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 not quite the same. Old, I, mean, I like uh, that better because they were more daring. Twenty six hundred is not bad. I don't even read out for format, but I've got uniform. I can put them in the PC format. Double yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm? Anybody here has an Apple One Twenty Eight, like CPM mode, the late Osborne idea. Let me tell you the story of one of my subscriptions. It was uh, I could never believe it would happen twice on one subscription. I I subscribed to Software Supermarket when it first came out. It sounded like a great uh, thing that would tell me monthly what's new in software. I think they managed to put out five issues before they folded, and they were taken over by personal software, which then lasted maybe for another five issues, and that was taken over by personal computing. So without my even asking, my subscription was picked up by yeah. two in a row. System. So I don't know it's that you really tax. have to ask anybody. Uh, on the other hand, it's I had a subscription that was in force. My check has been canceled. You know, it had been paid. You've got money sitting in envelopes, and maybe checks also payment yeah. on which may have been stopped or oh, certainly would. Well, checks are a different problem here. We could probably all the huh. checks would probably be bouncing around. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so, so uh, perhaps because of the length of time involved, it would be better to ask people. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Okay. I still got records of all that. Um, you know, that stuff hadn't been trashed. I, I can still find everything. I think it's easy, it's easy for me to understand what it's like. A one-man show, he was doing all the work when a lot of other aspects of his life began caving in on him. This one got, had to be put aside. Tom Medicine it's not had like had he was being paid $15,000 a year as editor-in-chief. Tom Medicine had people helping. Tom Medicine uh, had a workforce available to him when he needed it, when it came time to put the labels on the envelopes, yeah. stuff envelopes, fold, what have you. Uh, I don't want to go too far into that because that gets too far into what he does for a living and everything else. Um, and I still got Tom Edison to protect here. Uh, Tom had a full-time job, still has it to my knowledge. Haven't contacted him uh, since I drove up with the truck. Uh, what about what about the, the situation that was mentioned in an old tap about somebody screwing up a uh, list and, get, and being given an old having to use an old data file and stuff like that? Of label oh, that was a on. few years back. That was about '79. Uh, you know, uh, what's the story with that? I mean, it was mentioned in tap, but only vaguely. Al Bell had the mailing list on a bunch of IBM cards uh, <laughs> for <laughs> trash <laughs> at some college to get the mailing labels out and. When, uh, when there was no further yeah. access available to those computers, we went through hell to try and convert the, the mailing list over. And there was a section of that that, that got written over. Um, but at any rate. Uh, <laughs> Either way, it's old. Yeah. Um, a piece of the file got overwritten, and so we lost maybe half a dozen subscribers to that. Um, and it was it was about uh, a thousand names or so that we were converting over. Real bitch and a half. Yeah, sure. Well, that was it. We got a mag tape. We were taking a mag tape over the phone into one of these micros. It was a real bitch and a half. How are you we taking you mean you were actually sending data on the phone? Oh, yeah. were, oh, oh, no, it was data over the phone. Oh, I see. Through modems. I see. And uh, 
You know, that turned out a whole area of computer capacity I used to have too. But. By the way, speaking of that, have you seen the new issue of uh, what, that uh, what the hell was it? Computers? Uh, computer 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 computer. uh, what, what are those computers? One of the electronics magazines, the computer section in the middle. Radio electronics. Radio electronics. Have you seen the April issue? No. The cheap modem? No. It's actually a, two buzzers in boxes with, with, with dental floss in the middle. Something <laughs> 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 like that. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring it next week. Yeah, okay. And it, 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 it That's the work. April issue. Yeah, it right. only works at okay. 1.2 board or something, they said, though. Uh -huh. And they had other, you know, there's a refrigerator alarm, there's other things. They had a real alarm that looked like an April Fool's, but it was real. I gotta, you got to see that issue. It's really, really good. How many outstanding subscriptions are there? Well, there were over a thousand, uh, possibly uh, 1,500. I, I really don't know at this point. Maybe I'll talk to you after the so. Okay. But the thing is, even if somebody you know starts up tap and can use those for that, you know, you you well, may end up having a splinter group starting up tap, and then in in five years or two years or whatever, you can have four taps. Well, so yeah, right. <laughs> a little more on live goes a lot. Tap one, tap yeah, two, tap three, and tap four. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, the three got like called that. because you had the Krakow brothers in in St. Louis. I've been receiving these very cryptic phone calls from uh, Reading Ridge, Connecticut, uh, saying that, uh, that they're, they get all the old writers and, and they're going to uh, redo TAP, and, what, and I better not stop them. Oh, huh? What? TAP was restarted. And, um, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Can you tell us about these people? Because I'm yeah. really in the dark as to where yeah. these people came from. I have no idea. We're all in the dark. Because they yeah. gave me a post office box in Reading Ridge, Connecticut. No, I'm talking about the ones in. Who valued the first? Mm -hmm. They asked me uh, about tap. I told them to speak to Cheshire. Uh, so you okay. were the first contact, huh? Or and if people I don't know it, that answering machine that everybody has a number of by now, five six nine five four five nine, uh, is not where I live. I, uh, when I got evicted from my apartment last year, or a year and a half ago, whatever. Um, I had the phone line moved to a friend of mine's place in that neighborhood. Put an answering machine on it, and I'm currently living behind another friend of mine's uh, kitchen out in Brooklyn. Uh, not too much longer as it turns out, but I'll still be kicking around uh, out in the 718 land. Yes, it's true. I am a closet 718. <laughs> <laughs> Most embarrassing. Yeah. Well, everyone here, well, everyone here who's a Oh, I just like favor of it. Raise hands. Yeah, Raise your hands if you're a 718. Oh, see. See. It's a few see. others here. See. Hey, oh, I have you one uh, too. Raise your hand. You go to the <laughs> I have a daughter who's a show. Two of them. 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 Two of Hey girl, I have no idea lady? who the, the Cracker cool. Brothers are. <laughs> 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 there are two people, in other words. Yeah. I don't know what the antics are. I feel like I missed something. Brothers, yeah. so they're going to have a 42 page magazine with a slick cover. Oh, okay. 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 Really, yeah. probably, I can yeah. see the advertising yeah. for it. Then. Who, who, would <laughs> yeah, right. who would advertise? Yeah. Yes, get the newsletter. Oh, we know what we're talking about. We're, we're, they want to put us in jail. We've got to be a good newsletter. Get it now before we put it in the our printing presses. You know? Yeah, they, they posted that they're, they're giving out free free acid to whoever comes to the meeting. And it seems serious. I don't know. I talked to them one night and they said it's fifteen dollars. You did it. I know that. It's thirty five dollars. It was thirty five dollars. They didn't print any of it yet. They don't have any. They said they made out the first one. What's their own meeting? They had some of it. They had just the cover. They said they had some of it. They had three full pages at the right time. And they're really sick of that meeting. Why are we even paying attention? Why are we starting it locally? I don't know. Why are we paying attention to them? The thing was that a couple of Fridays ago, and the people don't know it, on Friday night, a bunch of the old tap people that used to gather around still gather in the back of the restaurant in Greenwich Village and just ship the shit. Can we swap over the articles from MIS? We go over there or stuff we dig up during the week. 
and uh, it's a nice, friendly chat. Well, two weeks ago, I get uh, one, one who is it? Dave over there comes up and, and says that these Krakow brothers, they want to take over CAP, uh, they want to have a big meeting with me, and we're going to have about 50 people. 50 people in this small a restaurant? You've got to be crazy. Yeah. Let's, let's call them, instead of the Friday the 7th, let's make it Saturday the 8th, we'll rent a hotel room, and that's when all this came about. How did David hear from them? They called you out of no, the they, No, they called me. They called you here. At one in the morning. Uh, yeah, they called how did they get home? you? From Eric? Or no, what? I don't know how they got my yeah. number. I never gave it to yeah, them. Yeah, I mean, I maybe they aren't for real. Uh, what do we know? No, they, all right, yeah, this is the, the, they're the, the sis off of the sport out in Missouri land. They, I, I arranged, uh, a con I wanted to arrange a convention on the 7th, and they must have read my message, and they s they contacted Cheshire, because I was, I, was ta I told them about okay. Cheshire, yeah. they never heard of Cheshire before, so after they contacted him, they basically changed the date to, uh, to the 8th, and, it, and then their mother's a little bit of No, they, they told me that the, the plane was delayed. Okay, hang on a second. And they heard of the plane uh, isn't delayed, they never intended to come. Yeah. Yeah. Every, I could have told you that And they heard of TAP before? Yeah, yeah, they, uh, well, then how, how could they not have heard of TAP? Well, see, that's my point, they, is people try no, to cash didn't. in on the name. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. who's like? They, they just heard of TAP, that's it. Okay, as far as the Waco brothers go, the first time I ever talked to was two weeks ago. I got Bill Mullen in a second, about a week ago, I guess. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Did you call them? No, they called me. Uh, so no but one knows how to reach them. From what they told me, what they yeah, really struck me as interesting is not so much them as themselves, yes. but the facilities they have. They yeah, supposedly, yeah, they their father supposedly yeah, has two ad agencies and two radio stations, yeah. and I figured, well, help. Now that's great. Okay. Supposedly they had actually a trailer company that could carry all the land work on professionally. That's great. Yeah. And that's what they That part of what they're saying is great. You know, they should be able to knock out all the that they should have. There's all sorts of supposedly advertisement bartering between uh, High Times and uh, the new tab via a old Susan Thunder connection. Supposedly have 10000 in financing, supposedly 1000 provided by you. No doubt for me. Oh, yeah, they said that's something like this to me. Actually, I tell them advertising in Hyatt, so we're going to have to investigate it. They never heard of Hyatt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they told me seven. Our days with Hyatt was the way in here. That was the old administration. That was the chat room. I had a call. I had a call. I these guys are into weapons, they're into drugs, they're into all this other stuff. Maybe they're into, maybe they're into lying as well. I will say they're all into lying. I don't think they're doing anything. Well, I can gather about half of what they're saying is true and half is bullshit. Okay, well, which half is what? But I think, I think it's all the half they're telling us is just there any reason. They have to give it to themselves, probably. Uh, yeah. Well, look, has anyone sent them money? Yeah, well, yeah. Set them in a check. Well, yeah, yeah. we keep saying that a lot of people took the money and that freaks them out yeah. so much. We're 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 I have a check and I'm waiting to move on. If you call their machine now, their machine now tells you that they are changing the name, it won't be TAPS. And there's a meeting in Brooklyn. Yeah, it says that this meeting is being held in Brooklyn. Um, <laughs> that's why no one's here for us. So, oh, at any rate, I think we probably convinced them that, that, right, that, 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 that they shouldn't call it TAP. They'll, they'll probably call it something else. They'll probably put out something on paper. You actually think that there are actually people who went to Brooklyn instead of coming here? Or not really? I doubt it. No. Because any one of them knew to call my machine. That's right. Okay. My machine tells you Columbus. Really? That's right. Close it all over. Good. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, that's good. Oh, in Brooklyn? Yeah. No, our friends here from 2600 know that publishing a publication is a lot of work. And yeah. There are a lot of moving parts in it, and to keep going month after month requires a lot of dedication and some money, too. I don't think these guys are able to do any of that. I would give them a second thought. The, your rights to the name tax are somewhat amorphous, I would say, so that even if you felt you had some rights to it, it would be expensive to try to stop them from using it, even if you were to win. I think the only thing we can do from here, quite frankly, is I think we've got enough of a group here to get the word out to the bulletin board network and tell them that the Krakow brothers are full of shit. Yeah. Yeah. They got us all worked up and then didn't bother even showing up. I mean, yeah. We, yeah. But not the Connecticut. Not the I mean, Connecticut, who also claims they're going to start. You don't know who that Connecticut, is? Connecticut, I never, uh, I mean, know. I sent them yeah. letters because all I had was a post office box telling them, you know, come on down here, call my machine, and find out that we, we have, have a phone meeting. number and for the register. And, well, we don't have the post office oh. did either. Oh. But, yeah, they didn't bother showing up. Somebody either. else trying to put that up. Yeah. So, so, she was laying that with one, two, three, four. four. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Sound like they're 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 I'm hearing. Yeah, they have they enough money. They came out with 30, uh, 30 so All they wanted was money and, and, the, money. and the publicity. 30 so yeah, the money. Well, publicity. They, they, they wanted just, the reputation where they could buy cheap by becoming tech. Well, once they start not delivering, they're going to get... Yeah, that's it. That's what they get by getting the name. But I'm saying it's more people get to know tech. It's not more people bumping into each other in the dark. Yep. That's easier said. It really is. But we've got to get the word out and they don't want to appear to be doing it. That's for sure. Don't send me money. I mean, letter problems maybe, but not money. No, I'm only kidding. I would be advantageous. You know, we the Brothers on the show. No, and they they get a real room. Discuss, yeah. you know, what to do just as you started out. What's on your video? Our friend from Oregon has a publication. Well, they told me about it. There's a starting a publication. Yes. You offered them a fat magazine. I didn't know offer them fat magazine. Well, this is what they told me. Okay. Okay. And, and last time I talked, I said you wanted to come to New York and we talk about it. Oh, okay. okay well, that's what I, I said. Mean, this is what they told me about a lot of other people. And uh, the last I heard from them, as far as that goes, uh, they said if we don't, uh, if we don't get, you know, if something happens, we we don't end up getting kept. We're going to start a publication under the, some other name. Which they're already that's fine. Fine. They're already announcing four editors. Yeah. And uh, bootleg is West Coast editors and Susan Thunder. Day before yesterday, they asked me if I'd be one of the East Coast editors, and I said, I'll think about it. The very next morning, yesterday, I called the board to check in, and there's this big notice that says, I'm the new East Coast editor. Oh, no! Hey, wait a minute. I know a lot of more highly respected newspapers and magazines that do the same thing. And I said, now, wait a minute. I think the way it goes has a little bit premature here. Yes. Lots of happens with more highly respected magazines, too, but it's me, I can do it. I said, you tell me what to pop really? like, uh, uh, Next thing you know, I'm going to like what that is. Yeah. Really? I'll tell him Anyway. He had two holes in his logo, okay? Yeah. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah. No, we're going to start saying that, that okay, they probably just made a film, which, you know, we're that whole of us talking about it, right, for our country.